The UB-65 was conceived in the turmoil of 1916, and from its inception it was marked by an ominous cloud of misfortune. During its construction, a series of inexplicable accidents claimed the lives of five men, leaving countless others injured. Despite the growing trepidation among the crew, the desperate times of war demanded the submarine's completion, and thus it was launched, carrying with it an air of impending doom. Just a week after its launch, disaster struck again. A steel beam seemingly defying the laws of physics plummeted to the ground, causing two more deaths. The UB-65 was quickly earning its reputation as a cursed ship. But the series of misfortunes didn't end there. During the submarine's maiden voyage, a crew member without any apparent reason flung himself overboard. The captain, maintaining an eerie calm, continued the mission as though nothing had happened. But when he tried to surface the submarine, it refused to rise. Seawater began to seep into the ship, reaching the batteries and releasing deadly fumes. The captain managed to resurface the vessel, but the crew was near suffocation. In January of 1918, the UB-65 ventured into the English Channel in search of enemy ships. But before it could dive, the starboard lookout reported a chilling sight. A figure on deck, a figure who should not have been there. As the figure turned, the lookout recognized him as the ship's former second officer, who had perished in an explosion during the maiden voyage. The captain, too, witnessed this apparition before it vanished into thin air. Back in port, the tales of the haunted submarine spread like wildfire. The German authorities, in a desperate attempt to quell the rumors, assigned a new captain to investigate. But even he could not deny the paranormal activities on board. In an unprecedented move, a Lutheran pastor was asked to exorcise the vessel. For a while, it seemed the ghostly occurrences had ceased. But in May of 1918, off the coast of Spain, a mysterious figure was sighted entering the torpedo room. Shortly thereafter, the torpedo gunner went mad, claiming the ghost was tormenting him. In a chilling echo of the past, he too jumped overboard and was lost to the sea. The tragic end of the UB-65 came in July of 1918. An American destroyer spotted the infamous vessel, seemingly abandoned and adrift. As they observed, the ghostly figure of an officer appeared on the bow of the ship. Then, without warning, the submarine exploded and sank, taking with it its spectral passenger. So ends the haunting tale of the UB-65, a ship that sailed not just on the waters of the world, but also on the thin line between the living and the dead.